The Internet of Things will hook up data, your refrigerators, your home appliances, your car, VHF radio signals that we currently use with Wi-Fi will not be enough to sustain that type of network. Photonic technology, Wi-Fi, will be the technology that enables the Internet of Things. My name is Frank Murphy. I'm a mechanical engineer at the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command Soldier Center. Photonic technology uses light to transmit digital information. Think of it as fiber optics without the fiber cable. What we do is we turn that light on and off at ultra high speeds so that it mimics the ones and zeros common to our programming technology. That information is transferred through the air to a photodiode very much like this. If you use infrared light waves, you'll never know the signal is on. It's invisible and the bandwidth, the data traffic will be gigabits per second. It may be the perfect communication system. In the old days, somebody could, you know, sniff your Wi-Fi signal, like your neighbor, if you didn't lock your Wi-Fi. You could also snoop on what you were doing. Wi-Fi is inherently secure. The signal doesn't transfer outside the walls of any shelter at all. There are some disadvantages to photonic technology. Uh, it's line of sight only, so you would need a internet access lamp in every room. It's hard to disrupt, but it can be blocked. If I put a piece of paper or a hat over my transceiver at my laptop, it would block it eventually. Light can be used to transfer information inside a structure very easily. Outside, it's a different matter. Outside, you have weather conditions, environmental conditions, which will affect the transmission of your light signal. The greatest deterrent to free space optical communications is fog. It will restrict your communication network link to 100 yards, 50 yards, depending on how bad the fog is. But in dry environments, there are tests that go well in excess of 10 miles. In space, hundreds of miles. Li-Fi will penetrate every market. In the near term, within three years, it will probably be embedded in your laptops. The growth is projected to be on a par with cell phone systems in the 90s. And as we all know, this world is getting far more connected than it was imagined even 10 years ago. And photonic technology is a horizon technology. It will only go up from here. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.